Hi, Kiture Kindiki. After taking oath of office as the country's third DP under the 2010 constitution, his shoes in the interior docket were temporarily filled by Prime CS Musali Mudavadi as intense lobbying continues over who will be appointed next interior chief. However, even as President Ruto lines up a new interior CS, Kindiki's tenure, though marked by victories in the fight against banditry, has been tainted by cases of arbitrary arrests, according to governance expert Dr. Isar Kassan. His record was not perfect. I mean, you remember quite a number of uh, issues raised during JC's uh, demos, where Professor Bing uh, having um, uh, national police in his docket, uh, where there was a lot of force used by the police, there, there was a bit of uh, torture and a bit of uh, uh, kidnapping and of course uh, quite a number of uh, arrests, unlawful arrests that were conducted by the police. According to Dr. Hassan, President William Ruto is likely to consider loyalty and regional balance in his next pick for interior CS. The president will look at who is very loyal and able to pick up his agendas within the, uh, the security sector, where no secret will be held. The Interior Ministry being very sensitive and being a docket that is uh, very crucial in governance, then he will look at someone who at least has knowledge on how to manage in, uh, Interior Ministry. Among those named as possible successors include Kimani Ishungwa, Aden Duale, Kato Ole Metito, Junette Mohamed, among others. With President William Ruto somewhat facing a dilemma on who to pick as the new interior CS, Kimani Shunga remains one of the likely front runners as the head of state seeks to solidify his support in the Mount Kenya region. Dr. Hassan, however, notes that despite there not being an IEBC in place, picking Shunga would most likely not be a route President William Ruto would take. His sentiments align with those of Kibra MP Honorable Peter Orero. I would not think that. Um he would pick somebody who will bring about by election, especially in central Kenya, as things stand now. It will be a political naivety to pick a representative where by election will be called at the moment. As to whether Environment CS Aden Duale will be considered for that post, Hassan argues that with the NIS and DCI bosses all from the same ethnic composition as Duale, that could jeopardize his chances. We have the Director General uh, Investigation Department, DCI, uh, uh, as a person from uh, Northern Region. We have Nuruddin, who is from Northern Region, who is the Director General for National Intelligence Service. So that means then there will be a lot of um, talks and speculations in the corridors of uh, politics. Whether or not Duale is picked as the new interior boss, Dr. Hassan believes there's a looming cabinet mini reshuffle. If you must pick someone whom he is not appointing direct into that docket, he's likely, we are likely to face a mini reshuffle in the cabinet. As eyes now turn on Ruto's political allies and who will be considered, Dr. Hassan has deemed interior PS Raymond Domolo as a man fit for the job. He could be the best choice for that particular docket. Uh, simply because he, has, he is the PS for interior and probably now have, he has understood what he needs to do and what he's expected to do in that particular docket. As intense lobbying continues, Prime CS Musalem Udavari, who is currently doubling up as the acting interior CS, today paid a courtesy call to the interior PS where they deliberated on key issues within the docket. Also thrown into the matrix is the status controller Kato Ole Metito, a seasoned politician whom insiders say is likely to be considered. His appointment is likely to be hindered by the presence of Soipan Tuya in the defense docket, according to Dr. Hassan. Kato, he comes from uh, the Maland, uh, 